Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I will show you step by step how you can easily and effectively use tables in Monday.com, how you can use sub items, how you can add columns, how you can manage your columns. So everything uh, you need to know, you will know in this tutorial. Now if you're gonna have any questions regards tables in Monday.com, I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. So let's just start from the beginning and I'm going to add a complete new uh, project. This is what I recommend also for you or if you don't have that much stuff in your project this is a good way. So I'm just going to click add here and what I will do I'm going to click here a new board and a board name I'm going to add and name it YouTube channel. You have option to change the privacy and then select what you're managing in this board. So if you're gonna uh, have items, campaigns, creatives, clients or custom I'm going to choose the tasks. So now I will click create a board and I will wait for a while. Let's just wait until it loads and then we are going to continue. So right now we are here and this is the table. What we can actually find here? I'm going to de delete these items that we can find here. So you can have it like completely clean and straight away. So first thing first, you can have a group title. So let's say I would have like YouTube channel and this first group title would be uh, videos for yoga channel. And this group title would be videos for productivity channel. This is how you can add a new group here. You can of course straight away add a new task. You can import the tasks or new group of tasks. Then you can filter it, but we can filter filter anything because we don't have anything here in our table. Or you can pin columns, item height, conditional coloring that you can have. We will show you how we can do that and item default values. When you're creating a new task, opa, uh, what will happen? So default values could be like choose the cells to be pre-filled when creating a new task. So let's say that I would be creating a new task and it's, it's always going to assign to you or let's say yoga channel would be on someone. I can assign it directly for that person. So let's say I would have a new idea. I can add the person right here and the status uh, not begin working on it and date when it happened. And I can have it all here. So this is really effective if so you don't have to always, always adding, uh, filling up all the columns in your table. Now, what do you want to do first? So add a task. Let's write here. And we are going to write here, let's say YouTube video. YouTube uh, yoga video for beginners. Most of the times you're going to have uh, the person here. Okay. You're going to have person here that you can choose who is going to fill the task status as if it's working on it stuck done. This is called also the label. So uh, when you see a task here, a person, you can always rename the name of the column. So I can rename the status. I can rename the date if I want to. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. And now what you can do is you can edit the label. So I can click here, edit labels and I can add a new label. I can uh, change it. So let's say this is going to be a new label and I'm going to not start it yet. And I can change the color of, let's say this is going to be dark indigo. Apply and I'm going to choose not started. Then I have a date here. So let's say it's for today, August 4 of August. I mean, August 4. And then what you can do next. So. Before we go and jump to the, how we can add columns, I want to talk to you about the task and what we can get in a task. So here you see three dots. When you're going to hover uh, around the task, you see on the left side three dots. You can open it. You can move it to top ground, move to the board. You can duplicate it. Or you can add sub item. Or you can create a task below. Archive it or delete it. So I can simply click here and add sub item, but to add a sub item, you can even hover around the arrow here and you can add sub items here. 
So you can click here and write, uh, this is going to be, let's say YouTube mm, thumbnail for video. And this is going to have literally the same things as uh, the task, but it's a subtask for this task. So this is a primary one. Now, this is what you can do and this is how you can play around it. You can also open the item page and here you can write an update for it. You can add files or you can find an activity log what was actually happening for your task and for your item that you have. So that's another thing what you can do. Now, when we go even further, uh, we can go and like again, see the subtasks and add a sub, uh, sub items here. The next step are columns and this is where the fun begins. So I'm not going to teach you every single column. I'm going to show you a lot of them. So what you can do have essentials as a status, timeline, numbers, people, date, time tracking. So what I can do, I can simply have a timeline for the video. And let's say this is going to be a set date from six to 20. Okay, it's a 15 days. I can click on it. I can set it as a milestone. So that's what you can do. Then I can simply click plus here and let's say I can add a time tracking. I can start calculating the time here. I can click on the time and even add a session manually. So I can come here and write one hour. Okay. And here I got it. You can also guys always make it smaller. See? like the time tracking here. And then you can pause it. So this is how we can use the time tracking. Now, then the next thing I want to show you is let's say you can add more columns here. So you can add the features here that you see, but let's say I want to add a files. You can even add a multiple ones that you know that you are going to use. So let's say I'm going to numbers for revenue then I can add <laughs> a location or I can add a rating or I can add also the formula here. So what I can do, I can, when I have a files, I can add and manage and files and upload them. I can also add the numbers so I can simply click plus here and let's say this is going to be, let's say 200 and I'm going to rename the number as a cost of the video. And you have always option when you're going to add number, you can click on a sum and choose the unit here and function if it's going to be average, medium, max. So if I'm going to have multiple tasks for my yoga channel, what I can have is uh, multiple costs uh, of the, in the table, right? So that's what you can do and that's how you use it. So 200, some 200, and you can also add a formula. This is another fun. So opa, let's say, okay, I need to ch change the zoom here because it's bugging a little bit. So you have the columns here, the functions that you can use for your table and you can really play around it so you always see the example. And that's what you can do and how you can use it. So that's pretty much it. And you can have like multiple columns as a priority. Let's say this is going to be priority high, right? And that's how the table works in monday.com.
If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. My name is Marcus, and I was happy to give you a like the guide on how you can use stable in Monday.com. Have a great day, guys, and goodbye. See ya.